Merrington Carp Fishery, situated in North Shropshire, set deep in the heart of the unspoiled countryside. It's an eight acre lake with 18 swims, it's for day and night tickets. The lake boasts a stock of 200 plus fish, 120 of those being over 20 pound and 7 being 30 plus. The lads have got 48 hours to catch and with it being an Easter weekend the lake's very busy. Pressure's on. After an uneventful evening, Chris and Tom knew something needed to be changed for tomorrow. The bottom baits just weren't working. What did it? <laughs> right out in where I up. Come straight to the top, yeah. Yeah, came straight to the surface. You got a bit of an audience now because everyone's blanking. First fish anyone's going to see today, this, if he gets it. If, if I don't want to jinx it. But one out there. That six been out there. 20 minutes. Shortened it right down, didn't you? Shortened it right down. Black and white foam. You just got to play around on jigs, haven't you? That's the thing. Like I said, I'm always nervous playing them all. I have no idea where this is. I don't know if you can see where my line is. Straight out in front of you. Look at his bivy. Just plodding around. Oh, there we go. I didn't even have the full weight of it. Bit of a scream, wasn't it? It was. Unusual as well, Dick. There you see. Very, very strange. Not a big one. In fact, it's probably one of the smallest fish in the lake looking at it. No. Yeah. Look at it. It's giving you a fight though, isn't it?
there we go guys, that's my first Marrington carp. Um, it's probably one of the babies of the lake, but on a day when everybody seems to be struggling, because the weather's all over the place, um, I'm quite happy. Caught it on a little zig, show you a bit more in a minute. Uh, try and talk you through it, and I think me and Tom sort of fishing together and trying to suss out what, what the fish are having. And that was on a little black and white uh, bit of foam on a zig. Oh, he's a bit lively because I've been resting him up. So and that was just whacked straight out in the middle where we've seen a couple of fish showing. So now that's produced a bite, I think we'll switch, you know, most of the rods over to it. So there we go. Nice little one to get us started. Plenty of time left. Hopefully catch a few bigger ones. Well done. There you go. Cheers, Tom. Sweet. It's getting back. <laughs> ah, all right then guys here's the rig that i uh, caught the fish on uh, very simple just a simple two foot zig so just got a lead lead there on a lead clip two foot hook link i'm actually changing this one because it's got that knot in the middle you don't want any weaknesses on this lighter line so yeah, I've ch I'm changing this one over and basically hook end, really small hook, with a black and white bit of foam. And all I was doing was just soaking that in goo. And yeah, that's what I caught the fish on, but we had them out for two hours after that and nothing happened. So yeah, I'm going to stick one out again today, although it's a bit windy today. I'd rather do it when you've got a bit of sun or less well less windier conditions to be honest it looks good for a bite on the bottom not so much zigs but we'll see what we can do there we go so two foot zig black and white foam in to the second fish of the session. To say it's been hard work would be an understatement. Let's hope, this, let's hope Tom can keep this one on. The wind is just absolutely mental today. The guy on the other bank's had three and uh, Tom and him are fishing both over to the same sort of middle area of the lake out there. So hopefully it's a good one. Chopped and change methods. It's on a little solid bag, that one. But yeah, we thought this weather should kick him into gear. The weather's been all over the place, that's what's made it hard, added to the fact that this lake is really busy. So, let's hope someone can get this one in the net. I think we'll be proper buzzing.
straight up to the surface yesterday. I thought it was you messing about. No, I put my zig into Jake. Bigger than the one I had. Yeah, he's got a bit of a in there. We'll treat that one up. Nice fish, mate. Get in there. Boom! <laughs> Go, my son! <laughs> so here we go then, guys. Tom's got a new personal best from Merrington. He's struggling to hold it. Kicking off. Are you going to turn it round for the camera or what? He's not going to let me. <laughs> Come on. There we go. How big is it then, Tom? 23. Is it just 23? 23.8. 23 yeah. And what'd you catch it on? Peach and pepper, orange little wafter, dumbbell, sticky baits. And a solid bag, just a tiny solid bag filled with uh, bread from the crusher. Yeah, fair play. Are you happy? Yeah. Yeah? Saved the blank anyway. Nice one, mate. Yeah, sweet. Hopefully we'll have uh, another one on that. Yeah. I think that's the rig that I'm going to change the other rod over to as well. Sweet. Well done, mate. Big smile. Cheers. I see it. To say the weather changed would be an understatement. You know, 41 mile an hour winds, heavy rain, and at some point hailstones. We surely thought that the fishing would be killed off by this. We both agreed that during a break in the storm that it was time to pack the gear up and head back home. It was forecast to get worse, not better, so it was pretty pointless staying.